Because part of the plans for 2015, some people have said that 2015 has come early, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so as part of the plan, the INEC has made it clear that it has taken delivery of 20 million permanent voters card for 2015 general elections in the country. Well, the INEC has also promised to ensure that the permanent voters card will be ready before the end of the year. So they're taking delivery and they're going to make it ready before the end of the year. This is one of the issues we want to discuss this morning on the show. So joining us from Abuja, the person representing uh, INEC, we've got Mr. Kadi Ido. Good morning. Good morning. All right, uh, just hang in there for a minute so that we introduce the rest of the guests and I'll come to you first. So I would want to welcome also Emmanuel Anyebulam, who's a legal practitioner. Thank you very much. And then Mr. Omoboye Leimo, who's also a legal practitioner. Thank you. And then, of course, we have in the studio publisher of National Interest Newspaper, Mr. Ide Iguabo. Uh, Thank you. Great. Let's go straight to Kaede first. Um, let's talk to you. Let's, let's find out from you. The permanent registration, uh, the permanent voters card that the INEC is saying they're taking uh, delivery off and they're expecting to begin to give out to people by the end of the year. Can you run us through the rationale behind it and what the intention of INEC is. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me. Now, when we issued the code laminated cards uh, way back in 2011, after the uh, voter registration exercise, uh, we did make clear that the cards will be replaced with permanent cards. Now, if you look at the code laminated cards that we issued as a then, the uh, fragile cards uh, and cannot stand the test of time, even though they contain all the necessary information of the voter as required. Now, the permanent cards that we are going to be issuing have an average lifespan of about 10 years. In other words, it can be used in at least two general elections. And so a voter will have the privilege of having that card, using it in one election, and using it, using it in another election. Um, uh, another thing with the card that we are uh, going to be issuing is that this card has a, 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 is a contactless card that has an embedded biometric chip. Now, the biometric chip contains all the data of the voter, including the picture, including the uh, fingerprints that were captured. And for the uh, 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 sanctity of the election and to improve the electoral process, this card will be read by a card reader before any voter can vote. So these are all advantages that you, you, you do not have with the temporary voter cards, and that's why we are using the permanent cards. Um, when the national identity card becomes um, operational, uh, can a Nigerian not use their um, card to vote? When that becomes um, a must, it means we will have, we'll be carrying two cards, the national ID card and the voter's card, the permanent voter's card. Excellent question. And the guest here now, says, plus the, the driver's, driver's the license. The reason. Okay. 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 Excellent, Excellent question. question. Now, now, the card that we are issuing have a lifespan, like I said, of about 10 years. The expectation of the commission is that before the time of the lifespan expires, the national registra uh, registration system will have been up and running very smoothly. In which case, we do not expect and anticipate that the permanent voter cards that we are going to be issuing will be replaced. 
after 10 years. We do not expect that. The expectation is that by the time the lifespan expires, the permanent and uh, the, the national voter cards will have been available to every Nigerian, and by then that card can be used to uh, vote. But before we have that, because you will agree with me that that system is not up and running yet. So before we get to that point, we need something to use, uh, and that is good and effective, and that is what the, uh, the purpose of the permanent voter cards will serve. Okay, uh, Mr. Dou, how secure would you expect the cards to be? And in terms of being able to use regularly, I know you said there is going to be biometric information behind it. How secure do you expect it to be? I'm not hearing. I'm not hearing. Okay, I'll repeat the question. I'm asking how secure do you expect these cards to be? We've got to be security conscious. If you're carrying a card that has your biometric information, how easy would it be for anybody to hack into it or to do whatever it is they want to do that might be fraudulent? Can you hear me? Obviously, we All right, can thank you. Now, the card is just like, if I can use the analogy, it's like your credit card that you carry right now. Now, your credit card is your personal possession, and it is expected that you will keep it as safe and as personal as possible. But in any event, the permanent voter cards has the biometric chip that has your data, including your fingerprints, like I said. Worst case scenario, if you lose that card, and somebody picks it up. That person cannot replicate your fingerprints, so it's not useful to him. Your picture is on the card. Your data, your 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 all your other uh, uh, all of all other information about you, you have it on the card. But most importantly, your fingerprints. I believe that you do not have two fingerprints of two people that are exactly the same because we uh, remember that we captured ten fingerprints, and there is no way somebody else who have exact fingerprints, 10 of his fingerprints, just like yours. And so if, if it happens, and I hope it does not, if it happens that uh, the car gets into somebody else's hands, the worst that has happened is that he has just denied you of using it. The card is useless to the other person who may have it. All right, okay. thank you. Um, just, just before you go, Mr. Idu, you're, you're not going anywhere yet. Um, the elections of 2014, will these cards be used for those elections? Yes, I said that the card has an average lifespan of 10 years, meaning that if you use it in 2015, you can be sure that the cards will be used in 2015. Uh, it is also expected that the card will be good enough to be used in 2019. But like I said, it is expected that uh, beyond that, the national voter card will have been available to all Nigerians. And thereafter, the national voter card can be uh, used for the electoral system. But this will be available for 2015 and for 2019 elections. Therefore, they will not be available for the elections of 2014 in Anambra and Oshun and Ekiti, I believe. They will not be ready for, that, for those elections. Now, the, the cards will be issued before the end of the year. But let me, let me make clear that the cards will not be available for a number of elections, because a number of elections is November 16th. Now, remember also that there's a huge logistics involved in distributing over 70 million cards and ensuring that the rightful owners get those cards. And we, in INEC, we 
prefer that we take hold of nearly all those cards before we begin distribution. Uh, because the experience in Nigeria is if you begin to distribute the one you have now, and some sections of the country get theirs, while you are waiting for uh, those for the other sections of the country to come in, a lot of uh, speculations will, will, will spring up and people thinking that maybe they are being shortchanged, there's an agenda to shortchange them uh, in the electoral process and stuff. So the commission prefers that it takes hold of nearly all of those cards before it begins to distribute. And before you distribute those cards, uh, your guess is as good as, as mine, where, uh, which of the elections in 2014 it can be available for. But what I can assure you is that it will be used in 2015 general elections. 